Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today we are playing on the Kingdom Chronicles server. What I want to know is how do we go from looking like this to looking like this? How could this fire have started? I turned around and suddenly the wall was gone. And everything was in flames. Please leave a comment if you can figure it out and you can see how the flames spread. You know, all my villagers are gone. I don't know what happened, but even the farmers are not here. I guess I'm going to have to go way north and get some more villagers and bring them back. As always, I want to help you enjoy watching or playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is the first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I've produced videos. Okay, I was warned or told that I should be recording when I log into the server. So it looks like it's dark out, so I'm going to sleep first. And then I'm going to go see what's been added. Let's see what it could be. I don't see anything yet. Okay, am I just looking at the wrong spot? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Now that's what I call a tree mirror. You got most of your wood back though. No way, that's most of my wood. But that's a cool tree. That is a really cool tree. And he put it right where my bell was. There's the bell. Or there's another bell. I'm not sure which. And put it right in the center. So now my villagers don't have a place to gather. Huh. Well, they're going to gather over there at the other bell. This is cool. This is really cool. So. Very cool. Well, I like that very much. I'm going to have to see what I will do next. Okay, I just I just had an idea. I think I know what I'm going to do with the bell. I think I'm going to put the bell on the tree. Right there. That should work. And the villagers can still gather here, and this should be rather interesting. So, there you go. Now, on to my next project. One of the things I wanted to show you, I'm back over at my giant map. And this is the village, the way it currently is now. One of the things that I did was I built a road that goes all the way up across the ocean and up into here and this is a village and I actually took more villagers from there and brought them all the way home 
and the purpose was to restore my villages because I lost them all. My farmers were gone. This guy was gone. This guy escaped when the whole wall burned down because some of this was wooden and he got out and he was gone, killed. So I have villagers in here that can breed and then I have the villagers in the farmer area over here and they are breeding as well. And so I'm getting my villagers back. And I now seem to have a good amount of villagers. More so than they have professions. And they summoned the Iron Golem because I had not figured out where the mobs were coming from. Now that I've figured that out, I've lit up the place even more with the purpose of keeping them safe. I still haven't got a farmer over here that can farm this area. I have to get a villager out from over there and move him in. But anyway, that's how I restored my villagers. And we will figure out what to do next. Okay, the question I have here is how do I get one of these villagers that are stuck over here in this farm area and move them over to this farm area because I need a farmer in here. So what's the best way to do that? I think it's with a boat. So what I need to do is get one of these villagers into a boat that I can then transport him across. And in a pinch, this is a fisherman. Not really what I wanted. So, and now he's got two of them in there. So let's try that again. This is a fisherman and he is a villager who does beets and potatoes. I wish I could choose what they do. This is the apprentice, so he's m more advanced. Actually, let me just get anybody in a in a boat. If I can get anybody in a vo boat. Ah. Perfect. Jeez. I don't want them both in a boat. Come on, let's get just one. Go away, separate, different locations. Okay. Now this is gonna be difficult. What is wrong? Why can't I go through? Going out? Yes. So now let's see if I can grab one of these. Grab one of these villagers. Because they would be easy. Oh, what if I did that? He found that one. And he found this one. So there, these guys are both now, what are they called? Cartographers, because they found this inside. So let me see if, first of all, let me move my horse. And 
I will set him up over here. And then I'm going to go back and see if I can get this guy to go inside the farm. If I could just get him to go in. Go. No, this way. This way. This way. Through the door, dumbass. <sighs> You're too stubborn. Go. Follow me. Come on, follow me, cartographer. Okay. Almost got him in. Now he's in, so... Sneak out of there. I can. He can't get out. And who knows how long it's going to take him to switch to a from a cartographer to a farmer. This guy's still a cartographer. Which so that's useful. But it looks like I got myself a farmer once he turns into a farmer. We'll just have to see how long that takes. <laughs> okay, welcome back, and I need to find my weakness potion. So we'll just go down here. And then we gotta go down here. This is where my potion brewing stuff was stored. Where is it? And there we have it. There's the weak weakness potion that I have. I have at least one, and I have some golden apples. So I can cure one villager. And I need to set that up. So we'll do, I'll take this. And we'll go about doing that next. This is all my brewing ingredients. I need to get a shulker bo box down here and take all this up to where my brewing stands are. But that's what I'll do next. I don't know how to get this guy to change professions. He hasn't traded, so he should be able to... He hasn't traded with anybody, because I haven't traded with him. He's new, so he shouldn't, he should be able to change. I don't think I'm going to start by taking this. That's going to take forever. Yeah, I'm going to take this. And it helps if I have room in my inventory. Put the block back. We'll see if this guy will change to a farmer. Because I really want a farmer I can trade with again. Okay, I'm going to let this guy out. Oh. Guy 
nice. Okay, he stayed in there, and I've got two more of these guys out here. And this guy is still not a farmer. This is really annoying. Of course not. This is why he won't change. Put a block above it so he can't escape and take this out. Now he's a farmer. That's what I needed to do. Now he's a farmer and he can go about getting these back. He can go about farming. And he is doing exactly that. Don't want this guy to escape. And now I want to check what kind of trades he has. And of course, he's the same trades as this other guy, so that's just gonna suck. But these are all crops, and he needs to plant some. So I'm gonna take these up. I got some potatoes. I can trade with him. Beats. I don't even have beats. He'll replant this whole area with crops. Maybe he'll plant some beets. I don't know if he can do that. Because I, if I don't give him the seeds, can he plant beets on his own? I just honestly do not know. And to jump. Can I get out of here? I can't get out of here. not want him to escape. Okay, I'm back and I have this villager, a farmer. He is now up to apprentice, which means he can trade pumpkins. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go get all the pumpkins that my pumpkin farm has created, which is quite a lot. And we're going to put some of these things in here so that I can carry more pumpkins. And then I can see how many. That's a lot better. Let's go buy. Let's go trade pumpkins. We'll go in here and trade. Huh? Huh. Huh. And he won't trade anymore. Well, that was anticlimactic. Huh. Let's see if he... 
So go up a level. Huh. And he still won't trade, but he's now he's huh. now he's a journeyman. But he won't trade pumpkins because he's maxed out. So huh. let's go over to these other villagers. Who are also farmers and can trade pumpkins. Like this guy. We like that. Trade with this other guy. He's maxed out. Did I trade with him? Oh, good. And he's going to be no longer an apprentice. He is now a journeyman and should go up a level. Does this guy even... He doesn't trade pumpkins yet. Check this guy over here. Now that's him. He's not a villa he's not a farmer. I gotta figure out a way to let these guys that aren't farmers out. I need to make more of these gates. Come on, go out. Come on, out. Oh, sure, they run out of here when you don't want them to. Here we go. Out, out, out. That's one. Now he can go become some other profession, because I don't think he's been traded with. Has he been traded with? I can't catch him. He has not been traded with, so he can still become something else. So we will let him do that. And I don't know exactly what it will take for these guys to trade pumpkins again. Let's see if they've gone back. They have. He's maxed out again. And he's now an expert, which is what these guys will probably turn into as well. Let's check this out guy out. Still a journeyman. He's good. Now, wasn't there... Where, why are there only one farmer in here? Oh, there it's the other one. And so... We got two farmers in here, and they're both maxed out again. Let's go check the first one again. Surely, we cannot have changed that quickly. And of course not. He has not changed that quickly. But he has improved his trade. So, that's a good thing. Now all I want to do is... I wonder if I can figure out a way to attract a zombie in here so we can change him into a zombie villager and then I can cure him not sure how that's gonna work I'm gonna have to think about that and figure that out I'm back and I've just realized how long this video is I need to call the end of this video 
So thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can't do that, then come back to this video. There is a link in the description for Amazon, and that would help me too. Otherwise, please subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Goodbye. Goodbye.